All right, here's question number five. This is a very popular question. Use the graph, I'm sorry, use the above graph of f of x to evaluate f of 0, f of 2. Find the value of x when f of x is negative 3 and f of x equals 4. Okay, so we got a couple of them here. All right, so let's talk about, let's review a little bit. So f of, f of x is the same thing as saying it equals y. All right, so any value, so we're going to put f of 0 in here. That's the very first one. So f of 0 is really my x value. So I'm going to go where x is 0, which is right here, and I'm going to go and find out where it touches the, the graph, and it touches it right there. And that's... And we're talking about the we're talking about the picture graph, the one that they gave us. So our line touches right here at when y is two. So this will be equal two. All right. So if you want me to go over that again, here we go. All right. So f of x is it the x is inside the parentheses. So whatever number is inside the parentheses represents my x value. All right, so like I said, if it's zero, then I go where x is zero, and I go up or go to where it touches it touches the graph, and it does, it touches it when y, see the y there, is two. All right, so let's do the next one. F of, and I'll do it in a different character, F of two, all right, so that means I'm going to go where x is two, which is right here. I'm going to go up, and it looks like it's touching it at four. So this would be four. All right, what would happen if we had a, a little different one? So here we go. This is the bottom part. They're saying find x. So we have f of x equals negative three. Now, don't forget, this is my x value. This is my y value. See, just like up here. So I'm going to go where y is negative 3. So y is negative 3 right here. And I'm looking for the x value, so I'm going to go here till it touches it. When it does, you can see that the x value that it's touching is at 4. So I'm going to write this out here. So f of 4 okay, is going to equal negative 3, so x equals 4. Okay, now let's do the f of x is 4. And I'll do it on this side. So f of x equals, equals 4. Remember, this is your x value, this is your y value. And we're talking about what's inside the parentheses. All right, so y is 4. So now I'm going to go where y is 4, which is right here. See, that's y is 4. We're moving it till we touch it. Oh, it's right there. We go straight down, and we know it's a 2. So x here is going to be 2. It's going to be 2. So f of 2 is going to equal 4. And our answer was 2. All right, and that's how you do that one.